Yeah, this is an old Martin acoustic I've had for a long time. Yeah, somebody had this, there were some folks that, that were in the music business back in the 70s, and uh, I don't remember them that well, but I think they were connected somehow with uh, with some underworld dealings, and they had this guitar sitting around, I said, oh, that's Martin, I love this Martin, this is like in 75 or something, <laughs> and they said, oh, would you like to have it? I'm going, yeah, I can't afford a Martin, you know, back then, and I said, oh, well, that was 25 bucks. I can afford that. Oh, Maybe. Uh, yeah, I, I think I had that on me. Yeah, all right. You were, you were rich back then. I, 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 you were it was, it was a co coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> I got this Martin for 25 bucks back in 75. That's the thing about Nolan Strange too, man. If you're gonna change it, like, well, like on a regular electric gig or acoustic gig where I'm playing steel string, you know, you can change the strings an hour before or 20 minutes before, however you gotta do it, and stretch them out and you're ready to go. But, Nylon strings, man, if you change these. I just changed them about a week ago. So it takes about a week for them to even stretch out. Jesus. <laughs> God, what, what kind of trash are you playing? How do you live with yourself playing with that? Well, you know, it's, it's kind of a weird combination of the styles because I, I have studied classical before and yeah. with classical, you know, you don't you do not do any of this thing where you put the thumb on the, you know, the thumb on the bass note. I mean, a, sure. like Andrew Segovia would have you, you know, shot right. if you did that. But, um, and then I also play with a pick and fingers, which is referred to as, as hybrid picking. But then you've also got like a... some spiritual stuff like Yeah, so I still love playing the nylon string guitar. This is like John Prine said years ago. He he said he was he was trying to write a song and trying to use different chords, like you know, other than what he had been writing with. And so he says, "Yeah, I wrote this song, and man, I was really excited about it." And it turns out it was just the same three chords I'd been using all along. But <laughs> but he would hit a G chord and go. That's it. Well, I'll be darned. 
you know, and that's the way that, that a lot of the early influences, which is some of the simplest, but um, as far as playing, I still love playing guitar. I'm not crazy about the music business anymore, but I love playing guitar. Yeah, really? Well, that's, that's okay. But yeah, I, got to, I was uh, teaching guitar lessons up until uh, about after right after the pandemic. I think I decided to lay it down after 50 years because um, that's how I made my living. You know, starting off was just teaching guitar lessons. I had lessons as a kid, and then when I had realized I had to start making a living somehow, that's what I what I did, and, and evolved into running a business for a lot of years, and then took it online, but. Still was in the broadcast business as you know. You and I were together for sure. for many years, um, and then of course radio, and then touring and writing and recording, and it, and I have more to do now than I ever have. It's it's um, and I'm enjoying it. Retiring is a lot of work. Yeah, I'm 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 retired on paper. I mean, as far as they look at it on paper, they go, yeah, okay, he's retired. <laughs> he's retired. But I'm doing the work that I want to do now. I mean, I did a lot of the work I needed to do before. And, uh, so I guess it, at this age, we don't have to take any crap anymore and do what we want to do, you know? Yeah. Play something that you shouldn't play on a nylon string. Play something that you would normally play on, a, on an electric or that you, that you have no business playing on a nylon. Well, let's see. We can, we can well, do something you, weird. Give us something. Well, before you accuse me, take a look at yourself. Well, before you accuse me, take a look at yourself. yourself well before you accuse me take a look at yourself Noodling. <laughs> That's right there. We got it. All right. No kidding. All right. I'm going to run back to work. <laughs>